We gotta get Lotex Evo done, cause he's coming right now. We're gonna try to fit in some demon eyes and some strobes on these V-Land headlights. That's what's coming up. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris from flyride.com, my website where I teach all about modifying lights. I show you what kind of products that you should use, some of the ones that you should avoid, and a bunch of other automotive stuff that you might be interested in. Today on the channel, we are gonna be modifying a set of V-Land headlights for the Mitsubishi Evo 10. I'm also gonna do some cool little tricks without even opening up the headlamps. If this is stuff that you're interested in, you wanna see more future uploads, start now by subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss those uploads. We're gonna spend the first part of Christmas Eve hanging out here at Flyride, fixing up the Evo, putting the bumper back on that I haven't even taken off yet. So I gotta get to it. One weird thing that you can find with aftermarket headlights like these is that they have the imprint on the bottom for the ballast, but they don't have a hole cut for it. That's specifically so that you can cut that out later if you choose to add a factory ballast. Here's what I'm most interested in. I know my dude's been running no low beams. Good story, he's got the factory bulb in there. So all we need is the ballast and the igniter. So let me grab those real quick and we're in business. Side note, if you don't want to be using a factory ballast and you wanna have a D2S style bulb, this is a bulb called a D2H. Let me show you real quick. This is actually gonna be used on that crazy WRX headlight job that we did the quote for a while back. It looks just like a D2S bulb, except it has these regular amp style connections on the back. So we're gonna be able to run these things out. Could have used something like this on those VLAND headlamps without converting to the true OEM ballast with the stupid igniter that I had to route through. That was actually a huge pain to do. This is a much easier alternative and it would allow you to run just a regular amp style ballast like this that has the easy little plunger connections at the bottom. Totally different way you can do it, but let's jump back to the video where I use the OEM parts. Got this factory ballast and it will perfectly sit right here, but we need to cut open the section right here to allow for it to do that. And I need to check to see if I even have the little seal that's supposed to go on here. We'll pull one off the factory light real quick and check that. So this is a donor light. What we're gonna do is take these screws. And we're gonna reuse these same exact screws too and try to find some that I already have that are the same, same size more or less. Got that. Ooh, and actually there's this pad too. I don't have that on the other one. Oh, and also it looks like deep down in there, there's actually a, it looks to be a ground connection that was made at the actual projector. That's weird. You gotta break that, something. Okay, well, that was not graceful. Well, since I don't have this exact little foam ring, I'm just gonna make one. Might not be perfect, but it's what I got. This is the foam insert from one of my boxes of angel eyes. So I have to do the other headlight now. George is on his way here. I'm gonna see, maybe, maybe, probably not, but maybe I can get a demon eye in there, cheater style, and show you how to do that. We'll see. Don't hold your breath though, but maybe. I feel like I could do it. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this to last. Probably not gonna do it, but I really feel like I can. Eh. All right, I got to apologize. I did not record me mounting the demonize, but I did do it total cheater style. I'll show you the type of demonize that I used 
I'll at least explain very quickly how I did it. So every now and then you can access the back of a headlight and you can look in there and you can see how there's an opening to the inside of the projector. And if you have one of these little demon eyes and you can mount it just right so that it's aiming down inside of that projector and you can just put a screw or something from the back side, like right here, right into, if you're lucky, like a, a big plastic housing that the projector's mounted to, then you can get that demon eye effect. It's kind of like just the cheesiest cheater style way of getting it, but it works. And it worked in this case with those VLAN headlights. And the other thing I didn't show in the video was how I ran that dual input circuit so that you could have the parking lights light up as well as the strobe remote. But I want to link to those videos where I explained all that stuff right here. So you can mount factory ballasts, you can mount aftermarket ballast, you can mount demonize, you can do the cool dual input circuit. Oh yeah, and the other thing that you can do is smash the like button for me. This is so I had no idea it was gonna be like that, but after doing the transition from the factory lights with the ballast and cutting the hole in the VLAN lights and then transferring the igniter and making sure that everything was in there, I even added the ground connection for the ballast. Boom, we got lights. So all I did is actually repin two wires and they look great. So we've got that nice low beam now. Ooh, I didn't check high beam yet. High beam. Nice. So I actually ran the demon eye wire out the back of this guy and I filled it up with silicone just so that there's no chance that moisture is gonna get in there. So in the end, all that I did was I hooked up the right and left outputs from the strobe controller, and then we set up that little remote control like I showed you before. And now my man's can get his car back because he hasn't had it for like two years since it's been here. <laughs> Real simple operation here. If I push one, that turns on the strobes. And then if I push two, that will change the mode of the strobes. And then three, something, <laughs> it turns on the demon eyes. So as soon as you turn on the demon eyes, they turn blue. That's the setting that we saved and George's app, so that's just gonna be continuously customizable and he can make this look however he wants and change it all with the remote control instead of using the phone every time. I'm in love. <laughs> Was it worth uh, like a year of waiting or Definitely. what? Definitely. Yeah? Uh, all right. I think he's checked out the strobes here. For Let's the look at him. Yeah, how about this? Why don't we shut the trunk, I'll hop inside. We'll all kind of get to see what you see. Oh, hell yeah. So everything's tied into exactly it what I wanted. When that's on, yeah, because it's already getting power, you can't see the inside ones flash. Yeah, and then when you do that, you can. I like how you got the middle one. So my guy couldn't see at night. <laughs> that's and this is actually interesting too. So the demon eyes are on right now, but you can't really see them. So if I turn them off, yeah, I mean, there's almost no difference. So people, a lot of times they'll worry like, well, won't you get in trouble if you have demon eyes on? Not if it's in your main projector. You can see the little bit of blue right there and I'm gonna turn them off and you can see it goes off. And then the other thing too is if your running lights are on and you have the strobe on, it doesn't do anything because it's already powered up. Yeah. So you can't even tell that those things are on or off until you turn off the dial. So I haven't made any changes yet, but then now I love, I just like having lots of different accessories hooked up on the one remote. Too. Oh, that be a... What is that? I was like, why is it changing? <laughs> My guy's on yeah. his phone. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, <laughs> don't, don't do anything wrong. Check this one out. There's, there's one cool thing that I like though. If you look on themes, this one says Easter, right? So it's just going to pan through all the different modes, oh. but like, let's say you want to like modify it 
and you want it to go faster, you can actually scroll down to the bottom. So there's speed and there's brightness. And then you can change the different colors. So like if instead of yellow, you want it to be like a, I don't know, like an orange color or something like that, you could just change all those things there, save it, and then there you go. Now you've got a new theme. And then if you want that to be like your, your default, then you can, if you go too far, it'll delete it. So be careful. But yeah, you could set it as default there too. So if you decide that blue is a little too basic for you, then you could change it up anytime. And did you see the other, the other option too? Uh, right here, you've got music is one, but then if you put it on microphone, now it's going to respond to our voice. Oh, I see it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and so if you, you want it to change between like multiple different colors, you could do that too. And it's right here. It's on single color. So if you go to multicolor, you now you can just pick. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now like depending on how loud you talk or how close you are to the speaker right here, yeah. you can change the sensitivity level. So like if you're somewhere and it's not super loud, you could do oh, it that way. Nice. If you're at a car show and it's super loud, you just dial it all the way back. And then it's going to respond to the music without pinning it at that, that highest color. Oh, okay. uh, and then this one, I want to see you do crazy stuff. <laughs> so it does that and you can actually do the same thing with single color, multicolor. So it'll change to different colors based on that. And then this is the one that you're going to get in trouble with right there. Miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> so it can change based on how fast you're going. The cool thing is, is no matter what you've changed it to on all your settings, your remote control overrides everything. Cause if you turn it off and back on, always goes back to blue. All right. I think that's it. I think that's about as much as we could say about the V land headlights. Oh, you know what we didn't do last thing, last thing we got to show off VLAN's awesome sequential turn signal. Nobody's got that. <laughs> You're the only guy in the world with this look. So we got sequential, we got demon eyes, and we got that strobe. And then I changed up your bulbs too in the back, so everything's all the fly red bulbs now. Ooh, last but not least, i got to send you off with some stuff for your Z. i got a whole little care pack for you, so let's get those and then we'll we'll wrap it up. All right, let's cold start it up, sir. First one in forever. Alright, 2019, it's been real, I'll see you next year.